So before I start today's vlog, we're gonna need a little bit of clearing. I am going to clear this face with my, I'm gonna put some on my face too, with uh, this Palo Santo and um, sweet grass that we do. And it's got white sage in it too. So we need some powerful stuff for today's vlog. And today's vlog is going to be um, just about the start of being an entrepreneur and how it feels and what I went through. So let's get it. All right. So as an entrepreneur, when you become super serious, you're going to get a lot of pushback from society. Like, I mean a lot from family, friends, parents, everybody, everybody. I, I've said this in other vlogs and talked about it openly, um, but I'm going to give you some examples that um, I, as a mother, so this is, I mean, for dads too, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I've only been a mother, not a father. Well been a mother and a father to my child, but whatever. So the pushback, some of the stuff that is absolutely horrible, but happens, oh, I'm making this video the wrong way. Oh, well, IGTV, this, sorry, this video's gonna be, anyways, so the pushback that happens, um, when I actually quit my job and started entrepreneurship full time, um, I had people actually, especially my family, my mom, my mom would say to my brothers, um, and other people, I guess other people, I know my brothers for sure that, um, all I do is I sit around the house and I have my, I'm on my computer and I watch, um, shows. I watch like in, in their drama, it's like, um, what is she said that in, they're called like it, basically TV shows all day. And I, when I, and I, like, I didn't know for the longest time. And when I found out, I was like, what, what are you talking about? Um, and the other big thing has, was cooking. So because I didn't cook all the time for my child, because I, I didn't have time. You, they, and, and I'm okay with it because they don't understand what it's like to do something so out of the order, ordinary, let go of all of your security that you've ever known to have, dump that down the toilet and start over and build something like a brand like Zen Plus Tonic. Plus, I'm going to start doing crystals soon too. Like I have so many, so much so many ideas to be creative and expansive in this business that I haven't done because I've been concentrating on my soap so much, but they have no idea what it feels like to have, to be full on responsible for every aspect of the way you earn income. And you can't be responsible for anything unless you love it. And they just never understood what it means to sincerely love something and do something that you love because they work nine to five jobs. Like they, it's programming. They've been programmed and that's okay. But the pushback and the constant negativity and nagging and making me feel bad. I felt like I was not a good mother because I wasn't cooking for him every day. I mean, he wasn't eating junk food all day long. Yeah, I did buy him food like Subway or there's like um, the Donair, whatever. He still ate healthy. I mean, I got so much slack for it. Until this day, I still do. And I just wanted to speak out about it because it's not fair. I do what I can. And I know many other entrepreneurs go through this. So it's not even, I always give personal examples because I need to be responsible for myself. I'm not responsible for anybody else. So that's why I give the truth and my personal experiences in this. And part of it is, is the whole just making someone almost look lazy. Like, yeah, I don't keep up with the yard work outside because I don't like it. I don't like doing it. It's stressful. It takes up time. I do like planting things. Once my things are planted, I like to water them and then take care of them. But 
the guilt and they make you feel lazy even though you know you're working harder than they have, will ever work in their life and the fact that you were able to get out of the herd, out of the programming of society and get into your own dreams, expand your heart and do something for the community as a whole. Like my vision with my business is consciousness. Every time somebody picks, without even knowing, the people that have bought my soaps, every time you pick that soap up in the shower and you take a deep belly breath, you're present. Whether you know it or not, you are present. You are present to the aromatherapy and the essential oils. It's my neighbor. <laughs> He's like, what the hell is she doing? Um, you are present to, it was 555, five, five, to the essential oils in the soap. You, 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 you can't not be. And consciousness is the goal, the unity that I have with this business that I give on to others. Whether people in this in the in society that have purchased my soap and will purchase my soap know that or not. So but they don't know that because when you're working for money, you're going in for a paycheck and you haven't done anything deeper than that paycheck. So the fact and the ridicule or the ridicule of not showing up, not showing up to family functions or parties um, and, and being thrown under the bus over and over and fucking over again. I am so tired of it. And it took me, it took me to do this vlog almost 12 years and six years of it was being an entrepreneur and the harassment of not cooking or not being a good mother started when I decided to go into full on entrepreneurship, which was about six years ago. So the judgment that we go through for being um, entrepreneurs, like don't listen to it. You do what you can, I give you permission. I just did a I give you permission vlog for LinkedIn um, for, for people, uh, for entrepreneurs who may be experiencing what I experienced or have been experiencing, and now I finally feel confident enough to say, F off, you're just not part of my life. I love you, I send you tons of love, but we just don't jive, we don't resonate, and that's okay. That is okay, because you have your experiences and no matter how much love I try putting forward or spilling out onto people that I love and wanted to desperately keep in my life, I can't do it. I cannot do it because my business is too important. My mission as a human being and what I have to do on this earth lies with like that guy over there anyways, lies with like Jesus. And it's to spread consciousness. It's the expansion of consciousness. And that's what I'm doing and I'm happy. So as long as you are doing what you love, regardless of the failure, I failed, oh man, I failed so much. I still feel like a failure in so many aspects of business. Not in life I was meant to feel like a failure by others, um, by being a mom and the type of mom I've been. But you know what? The confidence that I have today is only because I have an amazing son. I have a conscious son. I have a spiritual son. My son meditates. He sees outside of himself. I did that. I did that. Therefore, don't worry about what people say, what society says, what community says. Yeah, you'll feel bad for a little while, but if you really stay, pers stay persistent, in your vision and what you want to give to others, that's always gonna outrun just people that are surviving, basically. Yeah, it felt so good. Thanks for listening. I'm sorry if it was a bit of a rant. I didn't mean it to be, but it feels so good just <sighs> releasing that. <laughs> And I hope it helps. I hope that this helps other people. I always do these vlogs because I know if I'm going through it, so are others. Love you guys. Bye.